as you all know this is going to, as you know this is going to be a session on uh, reethi gowda uh, this was covered in the very very first session that we did uh, the first time we did two sessions one uh, at 4 o'clock and one at 10 o'clock in the night or 9 o'clock i don't remember exactly but uh, there only in the first session we were able to do reethi gowda the repeat did not have reethi gowda because since it was the very beginning uh, we were not uh, clear how much we could cover and uh, we took up three ragas and then we came to know three was too much and then we got it down to two and now of course we have got it down to one uh, so today will be reethi gowda but before i go to reethi gowda uh, i just uh, thought i'll answer one question just last week which we answered but i thought the answer was partial i am not sure if the person who asked that uh, has joined in yet but since this is recorded and will be shared uh, i'm sure he'll also get to uh, listen to this uh, the question was why has uh, kriti become uh, central uh, to carnatic music and i was listening to the recording today and uh, of course in that uh, both of us have told why it was uh, central and how uh, the raga evolves in a kriti how it flowers in a kriti how it helps you get a good grasp of the raga and so on i also said that uh, chagraja dikshidhar and shama shastri because of their extraordinary uh, kriti making abilities had uh, given lot of uh, excellent kritis and that's one reason which drove kriti to tray, take a central place in uh, carnatic music as opposed to uh, something like kriti not being present in hindustani music another uh, important point i uh, missed it and uh, both me and meera missed it uh, is that one of the reasons kriti also become central is because of what is known currently as a kacheri paddhati which was uh, set by aripti raman jaingar it is said that even his uh, master puchi srinivas jaingar had something very similar but somebody who sort of formalized this structure uh, was arikudi raman jaingar and he started giving more prominence to kritis and that's the kacheri paddhati which we call or the way uh, pieces are sung in a concert meera has uh, been saying that we should hold one session on the kacheri paddhati the various uh, uh, pieces involved in a kacheri and so on which will happen but the idea was that uh, from a very ragam tanam pallavi based initial days arikudi in the beginning of the 20th century shifted focus on to kritis and that's also one of the main reasons why kritis are now central to carnatic music it's just a bit of history and uh, it is a combination of all of these uh, uh, the great kritis of the trinity followed by kritis of their disciples uh, followed by the kacheri paddhati of arikudi raman jaingar and subsequently everybody adopting this kacheri paddhati and also the paddhati being a big hit with the audience all these have contributed to uh, the kriti taking a central place in carnatic music uh, i just thought i would uh, uh, say this here okay so today uh, we will open up as usual with a quiz from meera and meera has a totally new uh, type of quiz for you Uh, she'll explain that, and then uh, you know uh, we are ready for the quiz. Amira, you can take over. Thank you, sir. Um, so what we'll do today is uh, as a as a way of revising the kriti structure that we learned about last time. Uh, just to reiterate it, we saw the pallavi, anupallavi, and the charanam, and the charanam having a repetition of sorts of the anupallavi. Uh, melody the melodic uh, phrases of the anupallavi but in a totally different sort of uh, lyric so what we are going to do today is focus a little more on this just so that we reiterate this idea for ourselves so what i'll do is i'll quickly sing i'll keep it very short i'll keep the sangati short i'll sing a few uh, kritis so after each kriti so i will not sing them in the correct order it won't be pallavi anupallavi charanam it can be charanam pallavi and whatever you know you know right so it mix mixed up basically so so let's assume pallavi is one anupallavi is two and charanam is three so for example we saw marugela ra last time so this is the anupallavi marugela chara chara roop 
sing that then i sing maruge na o ragava i sing a bit of that then i go to ஒன்ஸ்ட் it will become clearer once we start so um, i will start off with a uh, uh, one uh, so sorry before that i need to clarify one thing so i have mixed in a few non kritis in this okay uh, i'm not going to tell you which so you have to tell me if it is a non kriti if you think it's a kriti you tell me the structure non kriti means there is no um, basically it doesn't follow the tripartite structure it may have three parts but it doesn't follow the tripartite structure okay uh, it will get clearer as we go right ilanam tatta tirugu chulu ilanam tatta tirugu chulu ஒரு ூ <laughs> வேகலேச்சி நீட முனிக்கி பூத்தி பூசி வெள்ள நெஞ்சி வெளியே சகனி பகவைக மாரேகாரி தியாக ராஜவிமூத்த three have come in so they're all correct yes uh, uh she uh okay <laughs> somebody is going into <laughs> uh okay this is an honor honors thing so no googling please uh yeah, googling is of course the easiest way out but sure yeah, yeah. Uh, so essentially uh now you would have seen right danu pallavi again is shorter the pallavi is shorter and uh, singing a tyagaraja kriti it must be easier for you to get the charanam especially if the mudra is there uh just to give you an idea tyagaraja mudra of a uh, mudra in the sense his name comes in only in the charanam he doesn't have it in the pallavi and the anupallavi so that's another uh, uh, what you would call data point for you right okay. the next one hmm. கையாதி கோபிகல கையே கொண்டே தனித 
Lot of them got it right. Yes. Okay, next one. Um. says not in the uh, in the <laughs> Krithi 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 yeah that's because yeah mira you can tell why yeah so if you notice the charanam basically takes a faster pace as such and it does not have a anu charanam as in it does not imitate the melody of the so samadhi nigama sanchar so it just moves along just like that there is no asharagana madaharana type line in the, there is no similar line in the uh, charanam so yeah so uh, we join in yet uh, we are not doing ragas yet uh, we are just doing something related to the kriti format somebody said kalyani yeah yeah it is uh, no it is actually a lalgudi pancharatnam of uh, tyagaraja Uh, which has multiple charanams and uh, and the last charanam would have his mudra so what charanam uh, uh, meera sang does not have the mudra so we will be doing krithis like this in later part because tyagaraja at least has an half a dozen different structures so this is more like a trailer for you that there are other type of structures of tyagaraja which we will be covering in later session Yeah, uh, Mira, maybe the last one before we get into Riti Gaur. Yeah, I'll just do a non-Tyagaraja Kriti this time. Yeah. 
yeah i know or i mean it could be a kriti format or not so like but i'll call it a kriti anyway uh har gavirun chavasav mudashorya sindo har gavirun chavasav mudashorya sindo adil basani kata That's one. ನರಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹಸಿಂಹ
Uh, this raga is now a very popular raga, both in uh, Carnatic music and in film music. In Carnatic music, it's been a fairly old raga with uh, Tyagaraja, Dikshidhar and others. Uh, later on, Papanasam Shivan and uh, uh, the tuning of our Ambujam Krishna's lyrics and all have happened. And so you have a fairly large uh, repertoire in uh, the Carnatic music side as well as uh, in the film music also because of uh, the very seminal Chinnakanna uh, Narekiran of Idaraja uh, that is sort of uh, ensured that later day musicians had a reference and then a huge number of um, Kannad, uh, what do you call film music uh, has come based on Riti Gaula, uh, both in Tamil and in uh, Malayalam. Uh, there are quite a few of them. We will see some of them. So I'll first let uh, Meera talk about Riti Gaula a bit, and then we will start our playing. Yeah, Meera. Uh oh, I think, uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, Mira will rejoin. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, a quick uh, uh, this thing about Riti Gaula. Um, Riti Gaula, if you look at it from purely a sense of feeling, what you feel when you hear Riti Gaula, I personally feel a lot of joy. Uh, you, when you hear Riti Gaula, the whole raga is structured in such a way that. It's very joyful. It's very pleasant, right? Uh, like Bageshri, we said that there's a slight melancholy in it. Aberi uh, was uh, raga, which could be sung in temples and uh, had a devotional aspect to it. Uh, Riti Gaula sort of has a very, what I would call, um, let me say, uh, joyful aspect. Again, I said that earlier. It's, it's uh, a raga which gives you a lot of joy when you hear it. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, Veera has joined. So, uh, one of uh, you, I think, Prashant, had asked on Twitter to start this with uh, Chinnakanna Narekiran. We'll do that. But before that, I'll let uh, Meera uh, talk about uh, the raga. And then, you know, we can, uh, she can start the playing the songs. Yeah, Meera, it's up to you. Yeah. So, Riti Gaula is uh, what we call one of those very... Um, Janaranjaka or like very uh, um, popular as well as uh, very hummable sort of raga. So uh, Suresh sir did mention that it's it's very joyful and uh, you know very uh, it, it it gives a very cheer cheery uh, kind of uh, mood sets sets that sort of mood. So in a uh, so just to give you a bit of. Mm, uh, so that sort of thing uh, it it uh, has some very distinct sagari gama ni gama ni ni sa so ni gama ni ni sa is like signature uh, riti gaula so even in the uh, film songs you will see them using this particular phrase a, a phrase a lot um, yeah I'll give you a, a bit more context about how it is used in the concert format and in compositions once we listen to a few uh, compositions now yeah maybe we can start uh, with that chinnakandan arikran yes prashant uh, requested that yeah. and in that probably later on you can tell that nenisa prayogam in that yeah, yeah. you you have to uh, get a yeah, volume yeah. bit up Better? Slightly more. Ah, this is better. Slightly more. Some more? Okay. Yeah, this is okay. No, it's going low. Slightly more. Oh. 
Now? It came up and then went again. Ah, this is nice. No, it's going low. கண்கள் சொல்கின்ற கவிதை இளம் வயதில் எத்தனை கோடி கண்கள் சொல்கின்ற கவிதை இளம் வயதில் எத்தனை கோடி என்றும் காதலை கொண்டாடும் காவியமே புதுவை மலரும் இனிமை அந்த மயக்கத்தில் இணைவது உறவுக்கு பெருமை சின்ன கண்ணன் அழைக்கிறான் which is like how the raga moves in a uh, you know scalar uh, definition so uh, that's pretty much how they've started the song itself yes sir uh, no i just wanted to tell about the song uh, uh, first to clarify uh, it was not ile raja who first tuned in reethi gaula in other um, uh, film music like in telugu uh, this venkateshwara mahatmyam where gantasala the singer himself appears on the s- screen singing in front of tirupati venkateshwara uh, and that song is there as part of the playlist it's called sesha saila vasa sri venkatesha that's uh, based on reethi gaula and uh, in the 1970s uh, dakshinamurthy swami who was a sort of guru to elai raja had himself tuned a, a song in uh, reethi gaula but the reethi gaula uh, i would say really came to fore in film music because of this particular song Uh, where uh, raja showed how this song can be adapted to film music without losing its uh, carnatic flavor so what meera uh, described correctly and uh, uh, perfectly as janaranjagam uh, is seen here that is the raga without losing its carnatic character still can become so popular amongst everybody you don't need to be a, a very big carnatic music listener to appreciate this and uh, from here on as i said later on uh, you know uh, uh, rahman gave uh, adagana rakshasiye then there was a movie called thambi in which vidya sagar had given sudum uh, nilavu and then i think there's yeah james usantan very famous kangal irandal and then jeevam shamai very latest uh, song which shreya gosala sang in malayalam there are lot of uh, reethi gaulas which have happened after raja Uh, through open the gates i would say um now i give it back to meera so that we can play one of the uh, carnatic uh, songs now meera right. you can choose yeah so um just to give a very brief uh, you know sort of intro to how composers have used this tyagaraja has of course used reethi gaula uh, quite extensively he, i would say he has about uh, uh, eight or eight or more compositions in it both in the kriti format that we discussed as well as in the other uh, format which we will talk about um, which is like a uh, pallavi and a bunch of refrains so that he is composed in both these formats in reethi gaule um so 
as far as dikshitar is concerned it's a bit tricky there was uh, there's another version called uh, uh, let me not get into the yeah nariri tigoda yeah let me not get into the uh, yeah like the differences between the schools yet but so something called nariri tigole which uh, sounds different but uh, that's the closest you can probably uh, draw a parallel uh, to so Uh, it has a different it has a few different notes and it moves a little differently and stuff so we will not really talk about nari riti gole in this but if you are interested uh, feel free to explore uh, i think the kirtana is uh, neelot pala naike or something i think yeah, that yeah yeah. So, yeah yeah so that is that and uh, shama sastri has uh, composed and uh, more than his composition very famous uh, janani ninovina is like one of the most uh, beautiful compositions in um ariti gole which is uh, composed by his successor uh, subraya subraya shastri subraya shastri son i guess right. yeah son i guess so yeah subraya subraya shastri incidentally had the uh, privilege of learning a bit from tyagaraja swami dikshitar and of course his own father shyam sastri uh, as far as history goes they say that chubara sastri learned from all three of them so let's listen to janani janani ninovina of things i am sure you would have noticed one of course are the uh, lot of sangathis that happened uh, in the pallavi and second is uh, you would have noticed uh, ms singing at one octave and uh, dot probably radha singing in the background uh, singing in the upper octave uh, both of them sing in different octaves to give you a good effect because uh, more lower you won't hear the volume too much 
so the higher octave lower octave gives you a good uh, harmonic effect um i'll let meera tell you more about the song but before that i just wanted to say the small thing in certain ragas certain compositions become the standard uh there are other great compositions in riti gaula but uh, subhrash shastri is janani nuna is the standard i mean you would have seen every great master try and sing this i mean uh, semangudi there's a version uh, mrs and all till the late uh, you know the current popular singers you will find everybody try singing janani in riti gaula Uh, like uh, in puri kalani minakshi vamadam dehi becomes a defining song uh, in uh, riti gaula this is like a defining song for most carnatic performers and for most listeners i mean uh, and uh, it probably deserves that because of the extraordinary uh, way uh, subhrash shastri has constructed it yeah mira yeah correct uh, what uh, suresh sir said is absolutely correct gold standard is the word so uh if you have listened to the song before or you you will listen to this eventually uh because it's on the playlist uh you will uh, notice that there is a chitta swaram pattern like a swaram pattern that we heard some swaram pattern i sang one today so the nice thing about the uh, unique thing about this chitta swaram you will notice that it also has a sahityam uh which is which was something that uh Uh, was kind of unique to shama sastri and i think his son has adopted that so it starts like ni ni pa ni ni sa ni sa it it's that's how it starts and the that is sung after the anupalavi and once the charanam is done the equivalent in the, in the same tune or rather the sahityam for that chitta swaram is sung ni ra va di su ka da that's how it begins so notice that this is a very interesting sort of pattern it's a very beautiful uh, chitta swara sahityam as we call it um, sahityam basically means lyrics so uh, it's one of those very beautiful things which adds to the beauty of this kirtane uh, one more thing is uh, why i feel uh, personally that uh, it it is one of those amazing compositions is the pace of the of the uh composition as such most of the others that i noticed kyagrajas or uh, you know uh, post trinity composers they have a medium pace there's even a shama sastri one ninnu vina mari galada it it kind of goes at a medium pace and even kyagrajas are all mostly medium paced it just takes a leisurely pace and you really get to enjoy the beauty of uh, uh riti gaula in all its glory not that it cannot be sung at a faster pace but this is as like a i mean it's so beautiful if you listen to it you'll understand please listen to multiple versions of janani and of course ms does a fantastic uh, rendition but there are so many renditions like sir mentioned so everybody is literally sung it and yeah. uh, it is it is in uh, just to add a bit more information um it is set in a 7 meter that is that 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 nin a jadani ninu vena so that sets like a leisurely at the same time like a majestic pace for the thing so start noticing the tala aspect i'm not asking you to put tala or any of those look for the math or anything start noticing how the composition moves like 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 just start with this song you'll start digging it more we'll talk about it every time then so that yeah uh, there's a question with raju saying can you call that a chitta swaram at all because you have to sing the swaras actually the the uh, solfa syllables we call it uh, uh, raju it's like this the first part is the chitta swara the after the anupallavi we actually sing as she sang right nini nini garisa whatever it is uh, uh, that is the actual chitta swaram the sahityam for that comes in the next uh, in the charanam so in the charanam we won't call it a chitta swara we call it as part of the sahitya but in the anupallavi it is definitely called as a chitta swaram because it's pre composed and you are singing the actual syllables nisa and all that right i've heard uh, uh, you know older vidwan call it as chitta swara sahitya yeah. so marivere gati uh, another famous composer yeah we'll yeah. talk about it in detail but yeah I one 
Yeah, there will be one session definitely where we will talk. Okay. Right. Okay. Uses that term as well. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, Mira, maybe we should play one more like Chera Ravade Mira or something, and uh, yeah, after sure. that we can take questions, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, we can or you want to take something one. else? Uh, anything, that... anything, anything is fine. Yeah. Uh, if you want to play you... one cinema song, like uh, I'm sure okay. everyone would listen to Aragana Rakshasi and. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that or else play that uh, uh, down the list. There is that Shreya Goshal song, uh, um, which is uh, Riti Gora. I think, uh, yeah, oh, that, okay. that is Vandi, uh song that is Jivam Shamai. Oh, cool. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Ninisa. He starts with Ninisa. Ninisa on the flute. Ninisa. Jivam Shamai Tane Nihinil. ൂവാടി തേടി പറന്നു നടന്ന ശലഭമായി കാൽപാടു തേടി അലഞ്ഞു ഞാരും കാണാൻ ഒരു കാറ്റു പോലെ കുടരുന്നു നെഞ്ചി നിള പോലെ കൊഞ്ചി ഒഴുകുന്നിരുന്നു മഴകേകം yeah yeah and uh, just wanted to make one observation as i said earlier uh, you know the sort of joy inducing raga uh, therefore if you see almost all the songs here are love songs and all of them probably are about just about flowering love uh, so whether it is kangal irandal or chinna kanna nalikiran or jivam shamai everything is in that in that range right uh, music directors are mainly used for this use it for this yeah veera yeah uh, i'll quickly play one of this uh, versions of shiraravade meera ramaya okay, yeah um, i like this version yes this is a tyagaraj kriti avate yeah tyagaraj kriti e meera ramaya shiraravate Ramaya Chira Ravate Mira Ramaya Chira Ravate Mira Ramaya Chira Ravate Mira Ramaya Chira Ravate Chira Ravate again here you would have heard uh, the sangati yeah. is yeah yeah like uh, like i mentioned this is a slightly more madhyama kala or medium pace sort of kriti unlike janani nenuvena so that kind of what makes janani nenuvena very very unique uh, in my view but yeah so and, uh, 
just a quick this thing uh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, this uh, there's one uh, song in the playlist called ragaratna malikache uh, which mm -hmm. i think is a gnb's version uh, you would also find it uh, with one of the few uh, vidwans who was outside of india uh, john higgins i think mm -hmm. he has uh, a version of it if i'm not mistaken john higgins did sing some riti gaula and i think it's ragaratna malikache only uh, you may want to you know uh, uh, search for that in youtube and, and get it and it's a good version uh, and higgins was one of the very very sincere uh, musicians who was uh, from the us and he studied i think under uh, vishwa in the westland university and then he had performed in india multiple times uh, in the past right absolutely so yeah you want to take questions now meera i mean it's about uh, we have 10 more minutes till late so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I want to so please post any questions regarding viti gole or anything we yeah. talked about earlier if you don't have too many questions we can play one more uh, uh kriti <laughs> but yeah if somebody is asking then we will answer them if not we can we can probably you know put up one more uh, kriti like ragaratna malika or One right, of the I'm others, thinking. like Guru Ayur, upon a upon, maybe a Tamil song. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, such them just say John Higgins and Riti Gaula. I Riti think Gaula should be able to get. Yeah. Yeah. Should work, I think, uh, until unless you know they have not loaded it, uploaded it, because it's an HMB tape. I remember long back, uh, which had that. Uh, yeah. uh this is something meera should take meera uh raju is asking whether janani starts off on a different note compared to other songs uh, phrase wise uh, what's your take on that yeah so janani nenovina does uh, start off on a lower note as we saw it so sa ni ni sa is is what janani is uh you're right you're absolutely right it starts on a different note when compared to another thing that's unique so most of it all starts slightly higher whereas uh then you know start lower which is amazing because uh reeti gaula actually has a bit of uh you know lower uh depth depth in the lower octave also um so absolutely yeah and uh i think uh There's a question on how do you go about doing alapana in the raga. I think alapana the session we'll have on uh, TV um, uh, in detail about what is alapana and all and uh, those techniques. You know, may take long time to explain. Of course, uh, uh, Amira will explain, not me. <laughs> and this, uh, but yeah, we'll do that uh, uh, some other day on how uh, artists built up alapana and all that. Yes, we'll do that. And Sundar uh, in the chat has put up the. Uh, Higgins version, so people who want it can check on that. Thanks, Sundar. Yeah. Any other uh, question? Yeah. What I what I suggest, uh, Mira, we probably have another three four minutes uh, before people, uh, you know, want to go. We we can play one one more uh, song. Uh, uh, pick one of them, and you know, we can. Maybe we can right. do that. Yeah, since uh, you mentioned uh, Guruvayur, I can even play that. Yeah, this is uh, a song by uh, Ambujam Krishna, uh, but it said that she generally wrote the lyrics and someone else tuned it. Uh, um, I, I don't know who the tuning is by, uh, but it typically we've uh, uh, heard that probably Musiri and Samangudi have tuned some of her uh, 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 kritis. Yeah. Yeah, the playlist will come around us. I mean, uh, uh, by tomorrow, I think uh, Mira will put that playlist up. Uh, yeah, playlist. Uh, I can send it to you right away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it will come up. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, we'll play Guru Ayur. Ayur, apne apne, 
yeah so you you probably saw the anupallavi structure how it uh, went and typical to a tyagaraja uh, structure the anupallavi was going to the higher reaches um, and of course uh, the sangatis and all and if you uh, would have seen the if you listen later you will see a charanam uh, coming up um, and as i said a lot of influence of tyagaraja has been there on later day composers as well and uh, you can notice that in many of the songs yeah mira any uh, uh, final thoughts before we close it uh, pretty much that sir so please listen to uh, janani nanavina quite a bit i mean listen to everything but janani janani is like one of the awesomest songs like you mentioned already uh, and uh, one more thing is uh, i've heard many people many new listeners say that uh, oh reeti gole that's like one of the first one of my favorites one of the first that i learned to recognize so it's it's like a very catchy raga so uh, do listen to it a few times i'm sure you'll kind of grab on to it very quickly so that's all i had for today uh, sir you wanted to Uh, yeah so yes as uh, meera says uh, there are excellent uh, renditions of janani uh, other than uh, uh, the ms uh, which is beautiful i uh, will also would like to hear uh, semangudi um, in uh, ar uh, tape not ar it is an hmv tape uh, semangudi does a good alapana and then uh, there is a fairly elaborate janani nuvina uh, that he sings that plus of course you all have the modern uh, uh singers also singing it uh, i don't have an exact list of who all sang it but uh, if you look at janani you will find many of them uh singing that uh that is definitely a kriti that you must listen to multiple times and yeah. you will get to uh, you know uh, love that kriti in due course of time one more thing i want to add is uh, uh instrumentalists also love this ragam it's again it's so catchy so everybody tries to um you know play this as often as they can so there's a lot of uh, mandran shrinivas is is plays such beautiful uh, uh you know many songs in reeti gole very beautiful uh, nada swaram i've added uh, shrinivas version of paripale amam sis swatitra nal kirtane then i've added nada swaram i've added a veena so feel free to explore because everybody likes this raga so 
and uh, uh, one uh, one more thing she said she said paripalaya there are two paripalaya uh, in the sense one is paripalaya mom which is uh, the swadithirnal kriti if you know telugu if you know telugu and understand a bit of telugu then you also try listening to md ramnathan singh paripalaya 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 ragunatha uh, that's again a riti gowda song um, it won't follow the tyagaraja structure it's a tyagaraja song but the lyrics are wonderful and uh, md ramnathan of course uh, you have to get used to his style but once you do you'll find that a very very uh, wonderful song just a, a suggestion as i said uh, the if you even if you don't know the lyrics you can still listen to it it's wonderful and md ramnathan as such is a, a man who sings with great depth um, but if you understand the lyrics you will enjoy it even further yeah mira yeah so that's that's all we had yeah. for today's uh, session so we'll try to do a a, a different uh, play you know, something like the kriti structure with maybe a composer or something we'll take up something else yeah. next time yeah i just one minute mira sorry for the interruption uh, i okay. just wanted all of them to uh, you know uh, quickly tell us not now uh, but through twitter and all the idea is um, i uh, mira and i have been discussing about uh, doing some sessions on uh composers like uh talk about their overall uh history and their uh, uh compositions and how they are currently viewed in the carnatic circles and how they are used in the carnatic concerts plus we also want to talk about some of the past masters like uh, ms subalakshmi or arya kudi raman jengar or musri subramanian some names may be totally new to some of you and some like ms of course are well known names Uh, we wanted to do this also we just wanted to be sure that uh, it would be of interest to people uh, that uh, as a part of uh, learning process it's very important for us to listen to as many artists as possible um, slowly we will like some artists we may not like some artists but that should come later but in the 101 levels i think we should try and listen to as many artists as possible uh, young old uh, current generation uh, previous generation or even older generation uh, so that was our idea so you know through uh, twitter or other uh, you know to uh, through twitter or something you can tell us how you like it or you can just type it here uh, if you would be okay with that and uh, uh, we would we would take that up one of these uh, one of these day sessions yeah definitely so awesome so we'll uh, see you guys uh next week yeah and uh, thank you for uh being part of today's session hope to see uh, all of you next time also thanks a lot keep listening yeah thanks guys and uh, uh thank you all for uh holding on till 8 o'clock <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next week bye bye